Hidden away on a back road in Jamestown, Tennessee is a cool collection of American Motors muscle cars, but they're not the kind of muscle cars you think. These are AMC Spirits. These things have a really small following, a small but dedicated following, and this particular collection is about the biggest collection of them I've ever seen in one spot. And the best part about this is a lot of my videos on hoarding collections, you know, people ask, is this stuff for sale? Well, every piece of this collection is up for auction right now. It is actually an estate auction. It's online only. So I'm gonna put a link in the description and you can go in and bid on this stuff. There's cars, parts, all kinds of cool stuff in this collection and it's available right now, today, February 10th through February 24th. So check out the link in the description. You might find something you can't live without. So walking through this guy's collection was sort of like a history lesson on AMC Spirits. Now these cars were kind of an evolution of the AMC Gremlin. Uh, you know, those cars are short wheelbase, they're rear wheel drive, you could get them with a V8, and the same could be said for these Spirit models. But there was different trim levels, different engine options and things. You could make it as basic as you wanted. You could, you know, have a six cylinder or V8. Uh, but you'll see some of these cars are outfitted with five lug wheels, aftermarket wheels, uh, V8 engines with some hopped up speed parts and things like that. So, you know, it's cool to see kind of the different levels of these cars. And a lot of these that are sitting outside, they're just strictly parts cars. They don't have titles. You know, they obviously do not run or they haven't run in a lot of years. But it's really neat to see the different options that were available on these cars. So we're seeing base model cars. And then this one, the one we're walking up on right now, is actually a GT. So this is an AMC Spirit GT. And it came with these Magnum style wheels and it came with a little spoiler on the back. By far, the rarest of the bunch was the AMC Spirit AMX. Now this was a special model, only available in two years, and it had these special stripes, it had this artwork on the hood that kind of reminds you of the Smokey and the Bandit Trans Ams. Of course, it was that era, so, uh, you know, this could have been a pretty sporty little model. It had a spoiler on the back, it had fender flares on the front fenders. Uh, you know, it came from the factory with some custom wheels. It was available with a V8. You know, this had a lot of potential to be a really cool street car back in the day. Now this one, you know, it hasn't run in lots of years, but it's mostly complete. You look at all of this, the stripes are there. It looks like it's got a fender flare missing on this side, but you know, it wouldn't take much to make a car out of this. The interior is complete. It's a little ragged here and there, but it's pretty much complete. You can see the dash, the steering wheels there, console, shifter, bucket seats. It's a pretty cool combo. You can see back in the back, that rear seat folds down. You got the hatchback. This could be a cool little cruiser, uh, you know, with a little bit of time and effort put into it. And it's certainly rare. That, there's no doubt about that. When's the last time you've seen an AMX Spirit? If you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment below. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and you'll see more of my videos in the future. So as I'm walking around, this place is really muddy and making my way through the mud bog, I found another AMX model. So not only does he have one, he's got two of these cars. And then I found some more parts and pieces for AMX cars, including a hatch for one of these cars. I mean. This has got to be the largest collection of AMC Spirit AMX cars and parts in the world. I mean, these things are just basically non-existent anymore. It's cool to see these things out in the wild, you know. They'd make really good parts cars. This one that's sitting on the ground, you know, there's probably not a whole lot of saving you could do to this one. But the one that's sitting up on wheels, it's still got the engine in it. I'm pretty sure you could get that thing running again if, you know, with a little bit of work, a little bit of effort, a little bit of money. But as we walk around, we see another evolution of this platform. And this was a little bit later on, like in the early 80s. This was actually the American Motors Eagle. And these cars were based on the same platform, but they were available with four wheel drive. This was kind of a first in this industry, a little compact car, a little compact hatchback that was available in four wheel drive. And you know, it led to the other Eagles, like the little station wagons that were four wheel drive, but you could get these early hatchbacks, which, you know, might've been a pretty cool practical car back in the day, but they definitely didn't sell a whole bunch of them. There's a car here sitting with no rear end under it. It's just sitting right on the ground. 
and I noticed these charging ports, and that tells me that this was an old drag car. So that, you know, that always gets me excited. And I'm looking inside of here, and it's packed full of junk. But look in here. It's got a roll bar. Looks like about a six-point roll bar inside of this thing. I can't open the door. It's kind of jammed shut. And, uh, you know, this thing's probably got some potential. But sitting on the ground like this, it's probably got some rust on the bottom side that, you know, that's not a good thing for a little unibody car like this. But still cool to see an old piece of a race car sitting out here, you know, just part of the collection, part of the parts car collection that this guy had stashed away for all these years. Sitting next to it is another AMC Spirit GT. Now this one is very complete, and if we raise the hood right here, we'll see that somebody's been working on this thing a little bit. It's got some chrome valve covers, got headers on it. It's got a few little performance pieces here and there. And you know, you can tell that somebody has been working on this car because it's a little cleaner than most. It's not just an old factory looking engine bay. So close the hood down, walk around this thing. You can see it's got a little scoop on the hood. It's got these turbine style wheels with some big wide ones on the back that are sticking out just enough to look cool. And you know, this is just a neat little car that shows you what hot rodding was like in the late 70s and early 80s. Like this is the type of car you'd want to have. It's got the cool stance. It's really a, a pretty neat little car and you can make something out of this thing. You know, who knows as far as what the engine condition is, but check out this tag. This is an old Tennessee tag from 1992. It says N2 Racing. I thought that was a cool little piece. And actually the patina on this car is really cool. If all that mold and mildew was washed off of it, this thing would have a super cool hot rod look. This one is probably my favorite out of the bunch. Let's open the door and take a look in there. And there you go, you got a monster tack, you got some gauges over here, and then it's got an aftermarket shifter, an old B&M shifter in there. This thing is pretty much complete. Oh, check that out. There's some old chrome slapper bars hiding over there. A bunch of parts and pieces. Look at all that trim back there door panel off of something, an old helmet. I mean, this, this car's got a lot of cool stuff and it would clean up really good on the inside. So this, is a, this car's got the most potential, I think, out of any of the cars that are sitting outside. It might look rough on the outside, but this thing would clean up pretty good and I bet you that engine would run with a little bit of work. It looks like it's missing a carburetor, but I like all the treasures on the inside too. And when you buy one of these cars, you get all the junk that's inside of them. So as I was walking around, I noticed that a lot of these cars, almost all of them, had parts stashed inside the cars. So of course that led me to start opening doors and checking out what was in there because you never know what kind of treasure is gonna be in some of these cars. And uh, you know, I didn't see any real treasure. You know, we opened up this one and it's got some parts and pieces and some wheels and some trash and just random stuff, nothing real great. But that led me down the path of checking the other cars out. And then I thought, well, there's a bunch of vans here on the property. I need to open up those doors and see what's stashed inside of those. And that led me to even more junk. So, you know, I'm walking around, I open up these van doors and they're just packed with parts, you know, carburetors and intakes and wheels and random stuff, trim pieces. Uh, one of them even had a transmission in it and an engine. Um, and then I walked over here to this ambulance Again, perfect storage container for old parts. And walk over there, open it up. I see some rods and pistons, all sorts of stuff packed into the back of this ambulance. Also in the collection are these two Jeeps. And then here we go with some more vans. There's a bunch of vans in here. Now there are a few older AMC cars in this collection, including this AMC Javelin. Now, a lot of these cars, they don't have titles or anything like that. They're just basically parts cars but there's still some usable pieces here. And again, you look inside, they're full of parts. So when you bid on something like this, you get everything that's in the car along with it. So, you know, this one, pretty rough, definitely had some work on it. You see up here in the front, it's been torch cut. There's not a whole lot of saving you could do on that. It's still an old school AMC Javelin. Somebody out there needs parts off of it. Here's another Javelin. This one's got the really cool humps on the fenders. This is like my favorite body style of a Javelin. And it's got some pretty good parts left over on it. You know, it looks like it's been grown up in 
briars and sticks and leaves and stuff. So it obviously has some paint damage. It obviously has some rust. Probably got some rust underneath that we can't see here, but a pretty cool piece. And then a Jeep J10, really cool truck here. Again, packed full of cool stuff. I see lots of treasure back here. So this looks like a piece of a Javelin, but it is really hard to tell. You know, there's really not much left of this one. It's been, uh, I don't even know. It's, I'm sure it was wrecked at some point and then smashed and taken apart, piled up with parts. I mean, you can see there's carburetors, hubcaps, fans, junk just piled all over it. Not much there, but somebody will probably drag that thing home with them. One of the most rare cars in the collection, but also one of the most damaged cars in the collection is this AMC AMX. Now, these cars were only made for a few years and they're pretty rare. You just don't see them very often anymore, especially, but you can see the briars are thick with this one. It's just been cut out of the briar patch and there's not a whole lot left. This rear section looks decent. Um, you know, it's got a back bumper on it, got the cool old bumper sticker on there, but we lift up this little deck lid and not a whole lot of stuff back there, a few pit parts and pieces, um, but really not a whole lot of room to put much back here. These cars were really unique in that they were AMC's attempt at getting into the pony car and muscle car world. And these things were pretty fast, not really anything crazy, but Again, this is a good parts car. Somebody can cut all this brush away and start taking this thing apart and being pretty methodical about finding out what's left because there are no parts availability on an AMX. So somebody somewhere could really benefit from a car like this. And then we've got another AMC Javelin, just a piece of a car. You know, it's definitely been taken apart, but there's some pretty good bones here. It doesn't look like any structural rust is there. It's got bumper laying up here, fender laying up here. It's been worked on a little bit. And, you know, again, glass has been out of this thing. So it's probably rusty underneath, just like all of these cars sitting outside. I'm sure they got rust in the floor. But again, a very usable parts car. Something that if somebody needed a section of that quarter panel or a section of the tail panel, these cars would serve that purpose. So as part of the estate auction, it includes this functional AMC Spirit drag car. Now this car's got a roll bar in it, racing seat, big monster tack up there, gauges, you know, but it does still have all steel body panels. This is a pretty much complete car. You could probably put it back on the street. I'm not sure of the title situation, but you know, this is a very complete car that looks like, you know, you could swap some tires and wheels around and have a pretty fun little street car with it. But under the hood, I'm not seeing any real drastic changes. I see an aluminum intake, a Holly four barrel, looks like an MSD distributor, an old school gold Moroso air cleaner. That's a cool piece. And out here, you know, you've got your typical decals and numbers and things. And it's got a flat tire back here, but not a bad situation overall if you're looking for a drag car project. Also included are a bunch of tires and wheels from random applications, some Jeep stuff, some just aftermarket wheels couple of slicks and front runners, and then these boxes of parts. And you'll see right here, a box of Holly carburetors, a lot of buildable stuff right here, radiators, all sorts of interior pieces, exterior pieces, uh, tools. This guy had a huge stash of tools. I'm not sure if he bought out some shop or warehouse or what, but he's got a huge stash of tools and tool carts and tool trays, a generator, a couple of air compressors, a bunch of good stuff. And of course, this caught my eye, these two weld wheel copy front runners. I'll probably be putting a bid in on those because I just like front runner wheels. Bunch of cool parts, bunch of usable stuff. My favorite part out of this whole collection of stuff inside the garage is the Mr. Gasket inline shifter. This lot of parts is probably something I'll be bidding on. Not sure how much it'll bring, not sure how much I'm expecting to spend, but is something I'm gonna be watching for these next couple of weeks. So again, this auction is going on right now while I'm filming this. So February 10th through the 24th, this auction is going on and it's online only. I'm putting a link in the description and you can dig around on there and make a bid or whatever, but it's pretty important that you're nearby and that you can actually go pick up this stuff because they're trying to get the property cleared off. You know, it's really important that pickup happens in a timely manner. So I'm pretty fortunate that I'm close enough that if I do win a bid on some of this stuff, I can run over there pretty easily and pick this stuff up. 
So even if you're watching this after the auction's over with, if you're watching it after February 24th, I just wanted to show off this collection of cool AMC cars and parts and parts cars. These things are just about non-existent these days. You don't see many people hanging on to this kind of stuff, especially these AMC Spirits, because the late 70s and early 80s stuff, nobody held on to those cars. As soon as something messed up on them, those cars went to the junkyard or they got scrapped or they got parted out. And to see this collection of cars, I enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed it too.